Hey everyone, this is John from the Garmin Marine Team. Today we're going to be talking about the GMI-10. That's Garmin's NEMA 2000 instrument. Now what's a NEMA 2000 instrument? The GMI-10 allows you to hook up multiple sensors. If you want depth information, wind information, or speed information, you can hook any of those NEMA 2000 sensors to the GMI-10 and have that information displayed anywhere on the boat. You can have that information showing up on one display or on multiple displays. So let's build a NEMA 2000 network. First step, NEMA 2000 power cable. Just hook this up to power and ground on your boat. And the way you start building your NEMA 2000 network is through these T connections. First connection would be bringing power into the NEMA 2000 backbone. Let's say you want to hook up a GPS antenna to this NEMA 2000 backbone. What you do is add a second T connection and then add in a drop cable to connect your GPS antenna. So now I can hook up GPS antenna. What that's going to do is power up the GPS antenna and bring information into the NEMA 2000 backbone. Now we have to take that information somewhere. Say you want to hook it up to your display. What I do is add another T connection and another drop cable. And then I connect this to the back of the display. The last thing you need on the NEMA 2000 network are terminating resistors. You need to have a terminator in both ends of the NEMA 2000 network in order for it to work properly. A male end and a female end. So here's the GMI-10. We can go ahead and mount this anywhere we want on the boat. Now let's say you want depth information on screen. Everybody knows how critical it is to have correct depth information. The way you do that is hook up a NEMA 2000 IntelliDucer to the GMI-10. And now we've got depth information on screen. If you're a sailor, you're going to want to get wind information, including wind speed and direction. The way you do that is to hook up Garmin's GWS-10 anemometer into the NEMA 2000 network. Once that's hooked up, now you can see wind speed and direction right on screen. If you're sailing upwind, we have a close hauled gauge. And if you're a racer, we even have a built-in timer. For the power boaters that want to measure how much fuel they're burning, Garmin has developed the GFS-10. By hooking up the GFS-10 into the Garmin Marine Network, you can now see how much fuel you're burning, what your fuel economy is, and even how much fuel you have left in the tanks. If you want to use the GMI-10 to display speed and heading information, you can do that as well. Simply hook up Garmin's NEMA 2000 GPS antenna, the GPS 17X. Once you hook that up, you can now get speed, heading, and even distance to waypoints right on screen as well. If you want to, hook the GMI-10 to any of our network displays, and it can repeat the information from the network display. 